What do you get when you cross an alien with a dog? An extra terrier restrial. Happy Halloween. That's probably the most frightening part of the stream. The terrible pun. <laughs> Welcome in, my friends. Uh, I played VR for too long as first in chat tonight. Great to have you here, VR. Uh, happy Halloween. Thank you. Uh, I'm muted. Yeah, I, I know. I was. Uh, I had to. I had to spend a moment. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know, but I was uh, I was just spending a moment working up the courage to tell that joke. <laughs> we usually we usually spend a spend a little while muted at the top of the stream <laughs> while I'm uh, finalizing everything and and trying to uh, trying to steal my nerves. Had to mull it over first. Ah, so it's good to be with you, my friends. I hope you've uh, enjoyed your Halloween, those of you who are celebrating it. For me, I guess it's just getting started. I haven't done a whole lot for uh, for Halloween today. But we've got two spooky games tonight. We're gonna play Alien Three on the uh, on the Game Boy uh, via the Super Game Boy, as you see there. And uh, this is the first playthrough. And see how it goes. I'm very familiar with Alien 3 on the Sega Genesis. We did a we did a Deathless run on hard mode not that long ago, and uh, that's a game that's a game that I learned to love. <laughs> I kind of hated that game at first, and and now I'm a, now I'm a big fan. Um, so we'll see if this is anything at all like that. And uh, after a few hours with this, we're gonna switch over to the uh, Nintendo 64. We're gonna play Resident Evil 2. Um, we'll just be starting a playthrough of that. It is not a first playthrough, but uh, it's been a long time, so it's gonna kind of seem like one. And our sort of usual uh, rules are gonna kind of apply because uh, I'd like to sort of rediscover the things I've forgotten about it kind of at my own pace. Um, first things first. Buttons correct, and we change up our border. Could just go with the black border, but I think that's a little dull. It looks nice, but we have all these other options. I think this, since this is based on a movie, we'll go with the uh, we'll go with the the old theater surround here. And we'll just. Uh, We'll just leave the uh, color scheme at default for now. So uh, let's see what it's like. Let's dive in. Uh, Fiorina Fury 161, Outer Veil, Mineral Ore Refinery, Maximum Security, Work, Correctional Facility. Fury 161, Class C, Prison Unit. Iris, numbers, report, EEV unit, 2650 crash, one survivor, Lieutenant Ripley, more random numbers, dead, Corporal Hicks, numbers, unidentified female, approximately 12 years old, request emergency evac, soon as possible, await response. It's all too fast for me. Always like the little borders you could do with the uh, Super Game Boy, yeah. And I've uh, I've been liking them more and more now that I've discovered that they uh, they animate if when you idle. I never uh, I never knew that until fairly recently. You awake in the infirmary. Your head is killing you. But at least you're up. You're confined to. I'm sorry, the text is too too uh, too quick moving, so we're just gonna have to let it play out. 
No, uh, no reading from me tonight. Oh my. So it appears to be top down. My coffee is terrible tonight. I wish Jelly were here to make it for me because I did a bad job. It's, uh, very burnt tasting. Just Right Gaming, welcome in. Happy Halloween, my friend. Uh, we're playing Alien 3 on the Game Boy. What a character sprite. I look like the Terminator. Without his skin. Look at the shape of my head. Ripley's not supposed to be part Xenomorph until the next movie. My buttons do nothing. You can pause. And... Okay, here we go. Um, I've got like an adventure game kind of menu. This is the first playthrough, so I, I gotta figure everything out. <laughs> as, uh, as always, we, uh, we have gone in blind. I appear to have nothing. I can open doors, though. Don't expect I can climb... I thought these were ladders, but I think they're just decorative. I don't know. It's hard to understand the perspective. Alright. Um. Spooky. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately, the game looks much like it's going to be much worse than the Genesis version. There is no truth in the reports of acid-spitting monsters that are circulating. Assuming I should just stay away from other characters. On, on and off, okay. Can I walk past? Okay. Well, you're lucky I found you, Lieutenant. Maybe next time you should be more careful. Um, Just Right says, I played Spooky Skyrim last night, and although there were Draugr's and Daedric Gods, the scariest thing was uh, talking about mine and Chat's dental horror stories since I just got my wisdom teeth out. Oh, my. Having my having my wisdom teeth out wasn't that bad of a time for me. I uh, had all four of them removed at once uh, when I was in high school, and I think they put me to sleep to do it. Um, I have a I have a really thick jawbone and really deep uh, teeth roots, so. And extraction is uh, quite a process. Um, and after that, I was basically just in bed for a week on a on pain medicine. I was barely conscious. You gotta help us, Ripley. It got the captain. It happened so quickly, but we all saw it. Are there any weapons here? Sure, in the armory, I think the key is hidden in a crate on the same level. Uh, 
Ho ho ho! Alright, the other characters don't seem to do much. I've had two other teeth extracted. Um, I think both times I needed uh, root canals that f that failed. I don't think I I actually didn't get a root canal either time. I had like I had like a temporary solution done, like in expectation of eventually having a root canal, but they f both times the temporary thing failed. And then the teeth just had to be extracted, and what a mess. The second time in particular was, was awful. I feel like I was, I feel like I was in the, uh, the dentist chair for like two hours while they, while they just pulled and twisted. Oh, wow. Did you see how fast that took away my health? Uh, one of the people in chat said they got all four teeth next to them removed as well. I think I almost fainted just hearing that. I had to be put under as well, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, but I need a fifth tooth extracted, and that's been giving me trouble still. That's like literally a waking nightmare to me. It was a, uh, it was not good. I actually currently have a broken tooth. I broke a tooth like two weeks ago. Had the dentist check it out. They said it needs a, it needs a crown, but. They were kind of like, they are kind of like, uh, I could do it at my leisure type of thing. So, uh. Just gonna save up a bit before I uh, before I go in for that. It's gonna be a little pricey. Um, Uh, well, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of this game right away. Not sure where it wants me to go or what it wants me to do. Uh, send spaces. Welcome in spaces. Thank you for the alert. And happy Halloween. Need to find that place with the fans again, I think. Not really under I'm not really sure how the fans work they uh because that one just pulled me right in and the others kind of just seem to have no effect oh great now there's full-sized aliens 
I'm on my last life, too. I have a feeling this game's gonna be like the Genesis one and be really brutal with the, uh, the game overs. I don't know. They've made me, uh, they've made me I I incredibly vulnerable by providing me no weapons, and they've, uh, filled the game with, uh, you know, big scary enemies, but I just, I can't feel afraid. I'm feeling too much confusion to feel fear. <laughs> I've only got, I've only got, like, enough space for one emotion at a time, and My confusion is leaving no room for fear. Just sitting here trying to stay awake, waiting for a, a call to drop in. <laughs> I will endeavor to be uh, entertaining, but uh, no promises, Spacey's. <laughs> I think my streams are more likely to, to lull someone to sleep than to uh, than to keep them awake <laughs> most of the time. All right, well. Oh, I've got one more life. I think I was heading in generally the correct direction. I think that, uh, I think going back that way again will be profitable. Oh. This time you're not so lucky. Nobody finds you. Your mission is over. <laughs> this is Ripley, last surviving member of the Nostromo, signing off. Wow. Mm. Well, from the top. That was a quick stream, GG. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the first time things have gone that way for me. That's a one-way trip, I just realized. Through those fans? There's no way to get back. Hmm. Well, where'd you guys come from? Oh. Maybe these are crates. I should be checking them. For the key to the armory. I thought I found something. I was so excited. It was just the cutscene. So everything happens in this game on a timer, it would appear. 
Oh, maybe that means I can't find the key until I'm told about it. So I might have to go back over to those crates after we hear about the key. Ferrum Tusk, welcome in. Happy Halloween. Uh, what dangerous mission have they sent me on tonight? Um, well, we're trying out Alien 3 on the Game Boy. Uh, so far, extremely different from the Sega Genesis game. And, uh, I don't really like it so far. But, uh, but we're just getting started. I'm, you know, I shouldn't really let my opinion form too quickly. Happy Halloween, thank you. Okay, so there we go. Now I've been told about the crate with the key. That's what I was waiting for, I think. was in a hurry. No, I was wrong. Oh, wait. I think that's it. I did get it. it. The game just didn't tell me I got it. This door seems to be welded shut. What is behind there? The heavy stuff, a flamethrower. You could try the blowtorch on it. I was last using it near the scrap heap. The scrap heap. That guy. Did he know I was going to need a blowtorch when he sent me after the key? Best game ever, 11 out of 10. <laughs> Didn't even know there was an Alien 3 on the Game Boy? Yeah. Maybe there shouldn't have been. <laughs> okay, that one switch controls both of the uh, fans, so... We're, uh, I thought that was a one-way trip, but, but we're fine, we're fine.
Derek Ocean. Welcome in. Happy Halloween, Derek. And thank you. So we need to just be alert because we can apparently have an item added to our inventory at any time. <laughs> I think we went in that direction. I don't remember seeing anything that looked like it could have been a scrap heap. Well, that direction is my current only choice, I think. So we will go that way. Good to see you. Had a rough past couple of days. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. I hope things turn around for you, Derek. Said something about being too close to the door a moment ago. Had a bad cold and missed a few days off work. pretty uh I was pretty zonked myself yesterday um I don't know what it was I I had wanted to uh, I wanted to stream last night but I laid down for a nap and I just could not find the strength to get back up out of bed This is a uh, this is an alarmingly fast-paced game. Really, just non-stop action. What is the scrap heap, and where is the scrap heap? I mean, isn't this quite the situation? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know where it is, but I also don't even know what it is. I wouldn't even know it if I saw it. I do have a stream schedule, Spacey says, but there have been times where I'm just too zonked to hit go live. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I try to keep a schedule, but it's more of a, uh, it's a lot more of a suggestion than a rule. <laughs> Today was the first day I actually went outside in like four days, Tarek says. Wow. Yeah, that must have been real bad. Hope 
Hopefully the trip outside is a good sign that you're on the mend, though. I'm just walking around constantly tapping A and B and just hoping they do something. Leaving Australia for the first time since uh, COVID. Not looking forward to what new regulations I'll need to follow for travel now. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I haven't been international since well before, and I kind of don't plan to do any international travel for the foreseeable future. I think I could pretty I think I could probably pretty easily spend the rest of my life without uh without leaving the country again. <laughs> says mom was getting me everything, lunch and stuff from the store. It's definitely good to have someone there to, you know, to help you out. When you're sort of uh, laid up in bed like that. I'd take five days off since I didn't want to take a COVID test. It's our policy. Oh, I don't think I've been down here. Oh, this is where I'm going to die. Hey, I held on. I held on just a little longer. All I did was sleep on day one. Uh, much better now. Excellent. I'm a travel addict. Been to well over 30 countries. So no, I need to travel space, he says. Is there anything that would fly us out of here? There's the EEV. Could be fixed up, I guess. But need help to launch and none of us something. Leave it with me, I'll think of something. I don't know what... I don't know what triggers the cutscenes to happen. I still haven't found the scrap heap or the blowtorch. Yeah, pretty pretty ama amazing, I think, is, would be my review of this game. <laughs> Amazingly bad. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, pretty much like when it comes to travel, I'm. I'm definitely a homebody, but uh, for whatever reason, I've uh, I've ended up doing a lot of traveling, uh, a little a fair amount, and my home is but my home's been in a lot of different places. <laughs> but it's not out of some innate desire to uh, to travel the world. It's just a uh, circumstance has swept me from one place to another.
while I say I'll probably never go international again, I'll probably will travel up to, uh, I probably will travel up to Canada at some point because I, uh, I live so close that it's, uh, it's like there's no reason not to. Um, I think if this re-released instead of Elden Ring coming out, society would have collapsed due to its majesty. <laughs> oh, I just have no idea what the game wants from me. What is the scrap heap and where is the scrap heap? Thing is, I could pick up I, I could pick up an item at any time and not know it. Uh, all I, all you do is pretty much walk around in this game so far, Derek. I can't really tell you a lot about it because I've never played it before. So, I mean, what you see is pretty much exactly all I know about it. Our, uh, our knowledge set, if you've never seen it before, our knowledge set is pretty much identical. <laughs> I'd love to be able to tell you more. Uh. <laughs> Everyone's thinking the same things. I have to find a blowtorch. There's a blowtorch near a scrap pile, is uh, all I've been told. I have no weapons. I have one item, it's a key card that I found in a box, I think. I don't know when I found it because the game doesn't tell you. Filled with action and drama. It wants your tears, your soul, probably a Twinkie. These things can be hard to predict. We'll figure it out. You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. They, they haven't made the game that I can't eventually figure out, right? I was watching um I was watching Vance Velez play Echo the Dolphin earlier, so So really I'm like uh I'm just in a I'm in a frame of mind where anything is better than that, so I can I can put up with a lot of I can put up with a lot of nonsense tonight. <laughs> Speaking of horror. Very odd RPG alien title. I don't know that I, I can consider this an RPG. I think it, it's kind of a kind of an adventure game. I don't know, it's not really much of anything. Look, we can walk diagonally. Yeah, Echo, speaking of horror. I know, I told him, told him the, he said something about it, the, it didn't fit the horror theme, and I told him Echo's the scariest game I know.
Why is this a door to nowhere? <laughs> Everywhere in this game is a door to nowhere. This looks like a library. Ah, uh, the music. <laughs> I can't open that door. I thought that was the way to the uh, fans. Oh, maybe this is. Yeah, okay. Need to turn that bottom fan off. I can't do that. Can't talk to anybody in the game. I don't know if I've ever felt so lied to by a game, though. Like, it told me that I needed the key card right here. Like, uh, weapons, armory, there's a key hidden in a crate. So it's like, alright, I'll get the key. So I get the key. But it tells me, like, to get to the armory, I need the key, and then I get the key, and I still can't get into the armory. Is this not, is this not where it was? Oh no, oh no. Don't put it down, use it. Stop putting it down. I figured out how the game works. Ah, uh, it's an easy game. Okay. Don't put it down. Use it. You're killing me, game. You, you're killing me.
We have to push select every time we get near one of those uh, piles of junk on the floor. Now we're good to go. Now I know how to play the game. Uh, happy 36th birthday to Alex Kidd, by the way, Spacey says. I've never played an Alex Kidd game. Oh my goodness, did you see how quickly I was destroyed? I could have had a weapon this whole time. All right, well, you know. Alex Kidd, so many years I spent on those two games, only to lose to a rocks, paper, scissors match every time. <laughs> oh no. Feel like I might have a rough time with that game. I thought I could break those eggs. That appears to be not the thing to do. Moral of the story, space is terrible. Don't go there. Where's the branching paths, the complex storylines, the mild peril? <laughs> Echo the Dolphin and Superman 64 are soul-stealing games, Tusk says. Yeah, and I still haven't even finished Superman 64. I finished the game on normal, but you can't be you can't play the whole game on normal, so I have to go back and finish it someday. Uh I'm not looking forward to it. I have to replay it I have to replay the whole thing on hard. <clears throat> Ooh, med kit. That'd be great since the enemies since the enemies tend to destroy me in like four milliseconds every time we make contact okay nothing in the bed that explosion all right that's nice Best part of the game right there. You know, I said uh, I said before, I said Ripley looked like the Terminator, but Ripley actually looks more like Robocop. Let me save you the trouble, Frowny. Lex wins. I know, I know. Spoilers. <laughs> Welcome in, Buddha Fingers. Happy Halloween. And Conga, happy Halloween to you as well. Thank you for joining us. The dots on the ground are items to pick up. Yeah. You have to press select. And every time you're near a lump on the ground. And uh, then you can see the items that are there. I think you actually have to push select in other places too. Where there aren't lumps on the ground. And you're just gonna have to, uh, you're just gonna have to guess. <laughs> uh, the game's just kind of like, uh, you figure it out. Alright, 
Those are indestructible. At least with my current weapon, those are indestructible. I always hated games that did that. You can't beat the game until you do it on you're gonna die more mode. Yeah, that's uh yeah, that's pretty frustrating. Like I don't mind I don't mind a game that won't let you play the whole thing if you're on easy mode. Like that makes sense. Easy mode's just practice for the normal mode, but like the normal difficulty should always include the full game. Contra 3 is like that, too. Contra 3 demands that you beat it on hard mode to get the true ending. I don't know. It's just if that's the game's attitude, that that's that that's the if that, if that's the deep if that's the the difficulty they want you to beat it on to get the true ending, then that should be the default difficulty. <laughs> Why are you even wasting my time with a normal mode? I guess I can experiment with the med kit. Okay, refills just over half our health. Oh yeah, I don't have the key active anymore. Is that actually Ridley in Contra? In Contra 3? Yes. 100% it's Ridley. They just... Konami just... Just stole him. Seems like you were doing better before you found out how to attack. <laughs> you made this? Well, it's mine now. Terrible news, Frowny, Budafinger says. I have to get up early for work this whole week. The nerve of work making me work? Who do they think they are? That is horrible news, Budafingers. You sure there's not any way you could just not? 100% agree. If that's the intended game... Give that to me on the most common difficulty for people to play it on. Yeah, I'm fine with Easter eggs and bonuses for playing on a harder difficulty, but the devs are cheating their own hard work from being seen if they look it, if they lock it away. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, it's just annoying, right? Because yeah, it feels like the, it feels like the the default difficulty should be the recommended way to play like, to play any game.
I guess I'm like I'm even okay with them locking like I guess I'm okay with them locking like the true ending behind a hard mode even just as long as the ending you're provided with on the normal mode could still feel satisfying. I'm okay with the uh, I'm okay with like a with an extra difficulty mode that has a uh, yeah that has like a uh, a bonus added on to the end, but uh, as a little reward. But the normal mode should still feel satisfying in and of itself. And. Uh, and getting all the way to the last level only to be greeted with a or getting all the way to the end of the next to last level only to be greeted with a stream uh, a screen that says you can't play the last level because you were supposed to change the difficulty to hard mode at the start haha ha, we never told you that <laughs> like that's that is that is not a satisfying ending At some ghost sink hoplin's cruelty. <laughs> you changed my mind. You cha you changed my mind. Now I love it. <laughs> Ghosts and goblins, sign me up. You don't have to get up if you don't go to bed, Conga says. Uh. Clearly you've not played Echo, and clearly I never intend to. Oh, I don't blame you. That game is that game is horrible. Super N sixty four normally was just a, a slap across the safe pack. Uh, you could just quit. Oh, I think that was intended for Buddha fingers. I was thinking, quit. I've never quit a game in my life. Except for all the ones I have. <laughs> That's the ending that makes you go, Oh nice, I just wasted several hours of my life that I'll never get back. I guess I'm never playing one of your games again. Exactly. Arthur, I dropped my hairpin. Can you do the whole game all over again? Uh, uh, Echo is a beautiful tech demo, but tis no game, Akonga says. Uh, Echo is Echo is mostly beautiful. There's some there's some artwork in in Echo that is uh that is shockingly poorly done. It's like when it looks uh when it looks good, it looks really good, but when it looks bad, it looks really bad. <sighs> I'm just checking all these empty rooms for secret items.
Dolphin can be used for cat food for all I care except the soundtrack. Glad that trend in games died out with that era for the most part. This game better watch out, because, like, when I figure this game out and know where to go, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those things where I can beat it in, like, three minutes. To be fair, there wasn't a lot of uh, compelling gameplay to begin with. It looks like a collection of tech demos that goes on forever. With Superman 64, that is. I think with Superman 64, there were like... 12 levels and I think five of them were actually levels the other seven were just flying through rings got too close and hurt myself why would I ever want to go in that room? You mean there was more to Superman 64 than just rings? Hello, Greg. Happy Halloween. There's going to be some serious speed runs happening here when this game makes sense. Yeah, I kind of think uh, I kind of think it's one of those things. I kind of think it's Oh, look at that. I found another key card. Don't mind me just mastering the game. found the, uh, I don't know, slide puzzle? Looks like a slide puzzle of a cartoon pig. I think it was the publisher that hamstringed the development team for Superman 64. It was supposed to be an actual game, but they weren't allowed to make it. Uh... 
I think Superman 64 could have been a secret Wario title. I don't even know what you mean by that, Buddha Fingers. All the girls in marketing would come down to play it, uh, come down to the hotline and ask to play the dolphin game, <laughs> and we'd oblige. Uh. It's hard to imagine anyone, for any reason, wanting to play Echo. <laughs> More than once. I, curiosity could be a motivator to, to play it once, but... door was never locked. Here we go. I better run. if I do. I don't know how I figured out how to turn that one off, but okay. Is this the... What? I don't know what that said. Something about fuel. I thought that was the scrap heap. Oh, hang on, I think it is. Well, I don't know what I just found. Found a portrait of a lady. the chat a little bit because I'm uh I'm not keeping caught up the suffering speed runs 15 minutes in five years there have been 15 submitted runs <laughs> not a lot of interest in this one um wouldn't surprise me if the people who make Superman 64 worked on Spyro what I meant was Superman 64 is kind of a loose collection of mini-games, like a Wario title. Um, put out the twisters, lift the car, etc. Alright, like a WarioWare game. I get you now. You see, when I think of a Wario game, I think of the Wario Land games. 
and I and in no way do those seem familiar to do those seem similar to me. They must have based it off of Superman 4. <laughs> Uh, it's somehow worse than Superman for the 2600, and that game is a visual monstrosity. I have actually haven't played that one yet. Aliens the size of a bus. You've obtained human. I was thinking it would be an extra life. Oh, it might say what it is. If I... Nope. Hang on. Nope. Or what this is. I have really no idea on either of those. A collection of mini games like Horus. Horus was mostly good. Why is everything got to be basically a one hit kill? There's no sense in having a life bar if it gets drained immediately. I'm not at all sure how to get back to where we were. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had a run button. Please let me be here when you first play Superman for the 2600. I'm sure it will be a swell time. Oh no. fan surface that took me a moment that took me a moment to get not gonna lie um weapons seems like they are stick and gun that's dissolving <laughs> Arcade Renegade, good to see you. Happy Halloween.
It's the scrap heap. Maybe it's not. Well, I found a dead end. You get a score at the end of, uh, when you get a game over, you get a score that, uh, it's influenced by how many survivors are left alive and also how many aliens you have killed. And that suggests to me that there would be a finite number of aliens in the game, but I do not think that's true. More fans. I have to leave it behind. I don't have enough uh, inventory slots. I don't think we can... Yeah. That's... Uh... The blowtorch better be a weapon and not an item. One of the game devs must have been injured by a fan. My, uh, my opinion of, uh, my opinion of fans is plummeting the longer I play this game. Since I don't know what those things are, I'm just going to leave them in the infirmary. Then if I need them, I'll know where they are.
I think there's a door in here I've never tried. And never will. It's a... Uh... It's not vulnerable to this key card. not so soon. <laughs> We're getting rid of all the fans. Ah. <laughs> uh. This game is quite the headache. It's annoying that they told me my next objective is near a scrap pile, and then they put so many things in the game that just look like a pile of garbage. Like, the whole game. I can't tell if I'm, uh, I can't, I keep getting my heart, my heart, I keep getting my, my hopes up every time I get near anything because it looks like it could be the garbage pile. You're better off just not attacking the aliens. All if you attack the aliens, all it does is provoke them to to ruin you. This is going to be a pacifist run, I think. I bet the scrap pile isn't even going to look like a scrap pile. I bet you're right. I bet you're right. The A and B are very confusing in this. It's like I'm playing Dark Souls. I think this attempt is just about over. <laughs> I found another key card. 
I don't think I'm supposed to have this one yet, though. I think I'm supposed to get it after the blowtorch, because I think the blowtorch is going to give me a method for uh, getting through those eggs, other than just tanking the damage. Uh. Alien 3, you're a real mess of a game. <laughs> Everything is so orange. The Phantom Menace? Oh my goodness, Bruder Fingers. <laughs> everything, everything is so orange. Tis the season. From the top. Good thing we remember exactly where everything is. Oh yeah, I I I 100% remember where everything was. This will be easy. You're gonna 100% the game? Of course. Don't lie now, I clipped it.
Um... The game's uh the game is significantly better now that I know what a little bit of uh, what to do. I have to I have to say that at least. It is kind of a bad move that they uh, gave you limited uh, lives, though. Fuel, refill... Stored. Can't go to the left. Can't go to the right. portrait of Ripley there. Looks like it could be Sigourney Weaver from one of the earlier movies. Uh, best way to deal with the aliens is just to back off the screen. <laughs> Clips for my weapon. I didn't see an item on the floor, so that's weird. Well, there's the blowtorch. It is an item and not a weapon. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate that you have to search everything from every conceivable angle like that to find invisible items. Um, uh, welcome to the stream, Jelly. I can't seem to subscribe at the moment, so this is the best I can do. I hope the stream is going well. It's going as well as good. Buddha fingers. Thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> thank you for the uh thank you for helping uh Jelly out with the uh 
with the gifts of Buddha fingers. Much appreciated. Take a key for coming in, Jelly. Uh... On the death screen, did I see Alien Queen as a statistic? You did! <laughs> I don't know if that means that there are multiple Alien Queens, or if that's just something... Or if there's just one. But I could see that going either way. Invisible. Yeah, I know. So most of the items are represented by a blob on the ground, but uh, not all of them it would turn out. Are the bus sized ones the alien queens? Maybe. They might be. That might be how that works. I don't know, because uh, it said, like, I don't know, I feel like there were like three or four categories of non-alien queen alien, so. There may be, there may be ones even bigger than what we've seen. Well, I learned where the blowtorch is. The wrong key card. My hope is that the blowtorch is going to let me get a flamethrower, and that will let me destroy the eggs. Oh yeah, I remember leaving that here now. I don't know if we've seen an alien queen yet, but I'm sure it's going to be black and orange. That sounds pretty unlikely to me. We did get a flamethrower. It's not very effective. I think I was correct in my thought about using it against the eggs, though. The weapons room is just the place I wanted to be. But uh, the only thing we could get was the flamethrower. You know, I would have liked to have picked up, like, a whole mess of weapons. I was right. Did those respawn? Looks like no. That's cool. Hmm. 
No. What an awful way to die. Those fans are terrible. Of course, the alien queen is orange. She's a hallow queen. <laughs> oh, wow. I find the lack of pulse rifles disturbing. Me too. Me too. I want that's what I was uh that's what I was really hoping for. Who wants fried eggs? I like my eggs flame roasted. Those are both med kits, if I remember correctly, so I'm just going to leave them. This game can't be that big, right? If it's, uh... I mean, we only have five inventory slots. And three of them have already taken up with key cards. And we can't put any of the key cards down. I mean, technically you can, but you won't be able to walk anywhere if you do. So... I... I mean, it can't be like a situation where there's like a hundred key cards, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was, I was trying my best to communicate desperation. <laughs>
weapon equipped. It's gonna be a real shame to lose our progress. I don't like this. I don't like this because I can't really understand how the fans work. It's going clockwise. You can't approach it from the top. It's going clockwise, so I can't approach it from the top. That's going anti-clockwise. So I can't approach it from the bottom. Alright. Anti-clockwise blows down, clockwise blows up. Are you lucky I found... Why? Why am I dead? What happened? Why am I dead? I don't know what happened to me. I guess the fan hurts me when it when I walk into it? No. Fantastic. I have no idea what happened. I'm at a complete loss. Uh, I guess that's sharp. I don't know. Turn that off. No. There goes all of our progress. Now I'm sad, just like I predicted. Alright, so where it says a, a queen killed, it says, I think it says no. Because look at the, the, the two zeros on the left. Or the one zero on the left there. It's not complete on the bottom. I think it's a, an N for no. So it's just a sort of yes or no. So there are face huggers, warriors, aliens, and eggs. The aliens are not the... The warriors are not the prisoners. So I think those giant... I think those giant aliens that we saw outside, I think those are the warriors. 
doesn't look like Alien so much as Final Fantasy. <sighs> I'd sure like to find the final fan and be done with it. Got him. <laughs> I can't say anything about the puns. Unfortunately, you know, this is the environment I have cultivated. If I remember the movie accurately, I don't know that that big is so much the right descriptor. Tusk is like long and tube-like. Uh, honestly, I'm quite a fan of puns, just right says. Someone, please send help. anything down there I needed. I'm becoming a pro at this first part of the game, though. Clockwise blows up and to the left. Anti-clockwise blows down and to the right. I think. That note is unreadable. It's unreadable. <laughs> Let's 
Slowly the game becomes slightly better. Oh no. Let's just address the elephant in the room. Laughing at these jokes is infantile. Uh, you made your puns, now you have to lie in them, Conga says. I certainly do. Fingers is making sure of it. Doing a thorough check for invisible items. the wrong way. I how precise that is for the blowtorch. I searched in two locations near it. And it wasn't until the third try that it gave it to me. Uh. You wore the wrong costume. Clearly, you should have gone with the Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> It's not Halloween for me anymore, but happy Halloween, everyone, Madame Masquerine says. Happy Halloween, Madame Masquerine. I hope you had a good time. Thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you've been well. I'm, uh, I'm struggling with this game and uh, being uh, pummeled. Pummeled with an endless stream of fan puns. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. Invisible Man is on TV, but I've already seen it. So, yeah. 1933 uh, version in black and white. You've seen The Invisible Man? How? <laughs> uh. oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I missed something. Come on now, we've come full circle with the fan puns. It's starting to make my head spin. <laughs> We need to take them out of rotation. <laughs> uh. 
Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. If you don't, I don't care. I have more fan puns to share, Buddha Finger says. <laughs> Uh, I thought that was the trick. <laughs> or was it the treat? I need to watch more of those, like, uh, classic, sort of like universal horror movies. And, uh... And even the Hammer movies. Um, I simply haven't seen enough of them. I don't know what this item does. Fancy confections. <laughs> A real treat. I'm going to make a really risky move and leave the blowtorch here as well. I'm going to assume I don't need it anymore. Love the old Hammer horror movies with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Yeah. Those are on to day two. It was a Dracula movie marathon. Yeah, I'll have to catch something like that sometime and, uh, and actually make the time to, uh, to enjoy it. So confusing. Okay, Q. 
key card I gotta have. That's uh, another health item. Well, it's usually nice to pick up extra health. I'm just going to leave that. Uh. Find the Invisible Man movie interesting in a technical uh, sense. I saw... Um, Hollow Man. I think that movie came out when I was like in middle school. That's the closest I've seen to an Invisible Man film. Probably much less technical, technologically impressive too, because I just imagine that it was all a. Uh... Done with computers. You want to see an impressive old special effect? Watch the transformation scene in the 1937 movie Shh, The Octopus. That's one I haven't heard of. All right, it's going clockwise, so it'll suck me in if I get too close, I think. Okay, that one is stopped. I think I can walk past it now, though. What's that one do? That one... I cannot walk past. Nope. I could not. I tried it, and I failed. <sighs> this is not good. Why'd they have to go with this theme for this game? Why was there what why was their big idea? Fans. Just lots of fans. that does. It's moving anti-clockwise, so I can't walk over that one. Can't walk over either of them.
I'm stuck. I can't go above either of these fans. I don't know what that does. Don't know what that does. Clockwise, not safe. Nope, that's going anti-clockwise. So this controls that one? Nope, I don't know what that one does. Anyway, it's going anti-clockwise, so it's safe now? Yeah. This, this, oh, my head hurts so much. what that is. Feels like the kind of thing that could kill me. Maze is full of profanity. I'll say. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just leave that wrench there for a moment. It's not a weapon.
I'm required to juggle way too many items in this game. <laughs> Well, I hope that's what I was supposed to do with that. More fans. More fans. I'm beginning to really despise this. I think I got a pulse rifle. Sure seemed like that's what that might be. Just drink a glass of Zen Fandel. It almost definitely looks like a sword. I, it's stunning to me that it's not a weapon. Moving anti-clockwise. It's going anti-clockwise. I can walk under it. Okay, cannot pass by that one. For sure it was going to pull me in. Um, clockwise, I can walk above it. gonna pull me in. <laughs> it tried. No.
don't like this game. This room seems to have had little purpose. Well, I'm not sure what to do now. There hasn't been anywhere I can't go. I've got a ton of items that I have no idea where to use. It just appears to me that we're both currently destroying Xeno scum. Uh, though I think I do it in the name of the Emperor? I don't know. I don't usually play Warhammer. <laughs> oh, occurs to me. <laughs> Uh, close enough, right? Tomato, potato. Clearly, the level designer was a fanatic. A fan addict.
my head hurts. Death Warp. That's what we're calling that. Sure wish you would just like tell me what this stuff is. Happy Halloween still in some places. That guy, Black Fox. Welcome in, Black Fox. Pleasure to have you here. I hope you've been well since uh, last I've been able to enjoy your company. the in fan tree we're recruiting <laughs> uh, fan puns are fantastic I mean, if only I could think of any more. Uh. I have no issues to report right on. Good to hear. When is Deadpool with a Spider-Man mask? Uh, and dressed as an old school Star Trek red, red shirt was great. <laughs> I put together no costume, aside from my uh, traditional spooky squid hat. Squid Hat is a fan favorite. I, uh, I rather enjoy it. I'm 
the the puns are infinite if you stretch them enough. Some of these are quite bad. Some of these are quite bad indeed. I was hoping I could repair this thing. It didn't work. It didn't work, everybody. That hurt a lot. Why'd that hurt so much? I don't know what the game wants me to do at this point. Other than just get robbed of all my health, I don't know what it wants me to do. It's not giving me any guidance. I've got a wrench, 
a sword, a scrambled pig, and a photograph, and none of them seem useful for anything. Where is that guy? I need to talk to him. I need him to tell me what to do. I guess the devs weren't fans of giving hints. When they said, oh, Spider-Man in Star Trek, I'd pull off the first mask and reveal the Deadpool mask underneath and say, well, Spider-Man has less enemies in space. I most certainly am not using that. I don't even know how. <sighs> this game is just making me sad right now. Well, I don't know, my friends. I didn't know I was on my last life. I think that might be as far as we get tonight. I, uh... I'm really just at a loss for what even to do in the game now. Triumphant, not in the least. A 
Let me see if there's an instruction manual for this game available online. There's a scan of the cover. That doesn't really help me. A lot of people have posted walkthroughs. That's not what I want. Well, I don't know. I'm not not seeing a scan of the manual anywhere. I don't know. We may have done everything we can do in this game, my friends. I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out how to do any more <laughs> um, without some sort of uh, without some sort of resource to refer to. Everything written about this game is fan fiction. <laughs> uh, outstanding headgear, frowny. Thank you, boat ladder. Happy Halloween. I um. Yeah, well, you've, you've come in to me quitting Alien 3 for the night. <laughs> we gave it three hours. Alien 3, three hours of gameplay. That seems fitting. Um, I imagine we'll try it again, but... Uh, maybe we'll try it, out, uh, try it out again on Wednesday. I don't know. I'm not really eager to get back to it because it's... Uh, it's kind of dense. Um, it's kind of obtuse. I'm not really sure. I don't have any goals. Like the game, no one, like the characters in the game talk to each other at a couple intervals in the first, like it's on a timer for the first part of the game. And then that's it. And it doesn't give you, like, it doesn't tell you like anything. I don't know what to do. all these uh, I have all these items and they all seem completely useless the game won't even tell me what my items that I pick up are <laughs> I just have to assume what they are based on their uh, based on their shape and they're inscrutable I don't know I don't like this I don't like this game very much so we'll uh, we'll play it again another night I guess um, might let this one sit for a while before we come back to it, though. Because I'm not, uh, not having a whole lot of fun with it. Happy Halloween to you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so we'll take a short BRB, my friends, and we'll switch consoles now. We'll head over to the N64, and we'll spend the rest of our night playing uh, Resident Evil 2. Thank you for uh, thank you for uh, accompanying me on this uh, very perplexing Alien Three mission. I just uh, I don't know. It's making my it's making my head hurt. This game. I'm having a I'm having a negative physical reaction to it.
how dare you? This was my favorite game growing up. How dare you slander this masterpiece? Oh, believe me, I've said harsher. Th I've said harsher things about 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 many games. I'm uh, I'm not one to hide my feelings about games I don't enjoy. If you if you like it so much, you play it. <laughs> Uh. All right, my friends. Um, I'm gonna step away for, a... and that's what you. Then you get that way. You get what you deserve, right? <laughs> I think I would throw my entire PC out the window if I tried to play this game. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Um, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, I should about head off now. Got to get up early, Buddha Fingers says. Well, thank you for being here, Buddha Fingers. I uh, appreciate your uh, relentlessly pummeling me with fan puns. <laughs> Uh, I hope that you sleep well and I hope your work goes smoothly, my friend. We'll look forward to seeing you again. All right, so let me take a BRB, my friends, and then we'll uh, we'll play some Resident Evil 2 for the rest of the night. I'll see you again very shortly. <laughs>